right uh, we're going to talk about uh, roc particularly in this video this is a part of unit one of ap pre-calculus and uh, in my tutoring experience this is one of the most uh, well uh, a topic in which students are actually pretty confused uh, so i'm going to list out some terminologies that uh, is going to help you uh, in interpreting uh, the ROC and some related, uh, you know, related terms. Uh, followed by this, we have, I think, three or four, about four questions as well, based on what I will uh, convey. And uh, we'll try those as well. So I hope after watching this five, six months video, you will uh, get a better understanding of, of these topics. Let's jump right into it. The first is they ask questions about function like function being positive or negative so remember the function being positive or negative has nothing really uh, to do with the roc because this just defines the sign of the function and we very well know that fx is what fx is ultimately y right so if fx is positive let's say they are saying positive so you just all you know about the function is it is above the x-axis in other words the y is positive so the function can be something like this over here and if it is negative the function will be below the x-axis it can be anything it can be like this it can be like this it can be like this it can anything any shape all we know with this information is that the function is negative right the next terminology is when i say the R O C of a function is positive, or um, I think I'm gonna run the next line positive or negative. So, this is where we have to be a little careful. Now, they're talking about R O C being positive or negative. There is another name for the situation. I'm gonna tell you that once I explain this. So, uh, let me clear this up. Um, so ROC being positive or negative just means that the function, the other name for that is, let me tell you right now so that it will be easier for you to understand. If ROC of a function is positive, I can also say that the function is increasing. And if ROC of a function is negative, then the function is decreasing. So in other words, uh, if ROC is positive, it is increasing. If ROC is negative, it is decreasing. Now, once again, guys, it has nothing to do with the sign of the function. Now, let me make, uh, let me draw two uh, curves for you so that you will understand probably maybe more than two if required. So these are uh, the X and, y, uh, X and Y coordinates. So the function, let's say, is increasing. What is the meaning of increasing? Increasing just means climbing. So if ROC is positive, it means that the function is increasing. Now function can be increasing like, okay, for example, let me extend these lines over here. And if ROC of the and the function is increasing, it can be like this. It can be like this. It can be like this. And it can be like this. So it can be in any of the quadrant right it can be below the x-axis as well just because the function is negative it doesn't mean that the roc cannot be positive just forget about this now the sign of function doesn't matter uh, roc is positive means the function is increasing so all these are increasing functions got it okay these are the other names now the next terminology that we have i think i'm going, going to use this figure so i'm going to copy this over here the next terminology that we have is ROC of a function increasing or decreasing, increasing or decreasing. You should not confuse this with the increasing and decreasing I wrote earlier because here I'm not saying ROC is increasing, just to make it clear. Here I'm saying function is increasing. If ROC is positive, here I'm saying function is decreasing if ROC is negative. But in the next slide, I'm saying that the ROC is increasing or decreasing and the other name for the situation is concavity. The function being concave up. Now I'm talking about the concavity as an of the function, right? Fx is concave up, concave, concave up. 
and the function fx is concave down fx is concave concave down and what is concave up concave up is a smiling function smiling function a smiling or this is a frowning frowning for example in the same curve these are the four situations which one is uh, ROC increasing ROC increasing means the function is concave up and clearly this is a smiling face this is a smiling face so these both are uh, concave up functions uh, I can uh, I think I, it's a good idea if I can I will make some other situations as well uh, the function can be decreasing as well decreasing and concave up because here I'm I don't really care about whether ROC is positive or not I just care that ROC should be increasing so uh, the other situations can be something like this here the functions are decreasing in nature but still the concavity can change because here you can see this is also concave up concave up and the others are concave down frowning face frowning face frowning face frowning face so um, uh, this is how ROC of a function increasing or decreasing means so ROC increasing means it's a concave up function and ROC decreasing means it's a concave down function and the same situation can also be represented in another probably a tricky way that ROC of ROC of a function double ROC double ROC ROC of ROC of a function is positive or negative so if ROC of ROC of a function is positive or negative positive once again would mean that fx would be concave up and negative would mean that fx would be concave down so if they want to make it even more tricky, they can use these terminologies in AB pre-cal, but you should very well be aware of, um, uh, well, these terminologies. So quick recap, uh, fx positive or negative has nothing to do. It's just about the sign, whether that's a pause in the quadrant, you know, one, two or three, four. ROC of a function being positive or negative indicates whether the function is in increasing or decreasing. ROC of a function increasing or decreasing means whether the function is concave up or concave down. And ROC of ROC of a function is positive or negative once again means whether the function is concave up or concave down. So you want to screenshot these things. Go ahead. This one and this one. Uh, I can do you one better if you want I can all pull all these on a single slide uh, you can just skip this part if you're not interested in this screenshot but yeah just for those who are interested um, allow me one minute over here uh, all right this is it and the last one is over here I'm positive this should come over there all right Try to make some space here. Got it. Excellent. Now, you, if you want, you can take a screenshot of you. Okay, moving on to questions. Um, here we are given a curve, and they are saying that which of the following statements of the graph F is correct. So here we have to analyze between 7 to 9, and 7 to 9 is over here. Okay. Is the function positive? Uh, is the function positive or negative? Sorry. Yeah. Is the function positive or negative? That's the first thing. Obviously, the function is negative because that's just below the x-axis. So the function is negative. And is the function increasing or decreasing? Yeah, increasing, right? It's climbing, going up. With the increasing value of x, the y is increasing. So definitely it is increasing. So the answer is negative and increasing. Option D. In this question we have to analyze between one and three so what is one and uh, where is one and three here one and three so here they are asking that all right here they are asking uh, that between one and three is the function increasing or decreasing obviously the function is coming down with increasing value of x so it is decreasing and what is the rate is the 
ray increasing rate means is the ROC increasing or ROC decreasing it means that we need to find whether the function what is the function's concavity and I think this is a concave up function this is smiling so it is increasing rate so the answer is option C right uh, the next one is uh, over here we have 0 to 1 0 to 1 is somewhere over here so in this 0 to 1 they are asking us in this 0 to 1 they are asking us uh, whether the function is increasing or decreasing well clearly the function is decreasing because that's coming down uh, so it has to be at the C or D and the function is concave up or down it's down right because that's a frowning face so it has to be concave down so it has to be option D, that is the best choice. And finally, between five to seven, we need to analyze. Between five to seven, it is something like this. Uh, they are asking whether ROC is positive or increasing. Okay, ROC positive or negative is an indi indication whether the function is increasing or decreasing. And clearly the function is decreasing. So ROC is definitely negative. And the function is concave up, right? That's a smiling face. So smiling face is concave up means ROC is increasing as well. So um, it's, uh, ROC is negative means function is decreasing and ROC is increasing because the function is concave up. So option C is the best choice. I hope this video makes sense. Any questions, please post it down in the comment section. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.